So I'm in Canada and I just got the new update for Tesla where I got, no wait, how did I say, I should say my car just got ass or is that going to get flagged? My car just got ass or actually smart summon as Tesla calls it. What that means is that I should be able to summon my car to pick me up from any parking lot and it will come pick me up from the front door. We're at Walmart. My fiance here, Violet, is going to be in the back seat filming so that you guys can see a firsthand view from inside the car. And just so you know, I am terrified. I do not want to do this. I'm being held captured to do this. With our first attempt at actually smart summon, you can see that the car has been activated. So it's taking a little bit of time to get going here. I'm not sure what's going on, if it's a connection issue or if it is the fact that there's a car behind us. I actually think I was a little bit too far away and I had to move closer. And I think that's why it took so long. Here it reverses out of the spot, which is pretty cool. It has the backup camera and the two side cameras shown there with a little bit of a path behind the car on the left side of the screen. The windshield wipers are going because there is a camera at the front of the car right behind the rear view mirror that looks in front of the car to make sure that it knows where it's going. As we pull into this lane here, the car shifts over to the right side. It has a clear path for any bystanders who may be looking into the car. They can see that the car knows what it's doing and has a plan. We stop at the intersection and the car proceeds cautiously. I would assume that with all of the video that Tesla has captured and the AI processing it, it probably recognizes the front of a grocery store and knows that it's a high traffic area. It goes to pull to the right, but notices a car with flashing lights in front of it. So smoothly goes around and you can see me just on the side there with my phone waiting for the car to show up. I actually let go of the summon button a little bit too early and you're going to hear Violet complain about that in a second. That was an abrupt stop. Yeah, it snapped I, me back. So I, I actually, uh, I let go of the button instead of allowing it to stop on its own because mm. it looked like it was going to keep going. As I engaged ass this time, the car actually got going a lot more quickly. I think this is because I fixed the issue of not being in range. So I was in range this time. You can see again, it starts backing up. It's got the cameras going, the back camera, the left camera, the right camera, with a little path behind it. Uh, pretty smooth backing up here and pretty quick. I think probably as quick as a human would go. We can see that somebody is loading groceries in their vehicle on the left side and the Tesla kind of slows down when it gets close to them and shifts over to the right even more. But it is kind of driving in the middle of the lane here. Not really a huge problem since there is no other traffic at all. I can't believe this because it was such a busy day here and there were so many people. Yet every time we tried actually smart summon, there was nobody walking around and nobody in the way. So this guy had just made his way all the way across the road. Now there's gonna be someone popping out right there and the car slows down almost to a stop. And I think that the car thought better safe than sorry. You can see that Violet was stressed out because it looked like the car was going to swerve into the other car, but quickly corrected itself. That stressed me out. And ended up pulling right back over to come pick me up. It even went over a speed bump with no problems and I figured out to hold the button down so it doesn't come to such an abrupt stop this time. Now see how it was to get an experience from inside the car from Violet POV. Here she is with her commentary. This white Jeep right here has been trying to back up for a while. I hope it backs up before we start going. Before, okay. I'm fine. It's all good, okay. Oh, now it wants to go. Now it wants to back up. Okay, the car recognized that the Jeep is backing up, so it's not going yet. That's good. Whew. Okay. Okay. Person's walking by. The car noticed. Didn't go. And now it's it's inching forward. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Someone is right there. Let's see. Slow down. And now it's inching to the right to make sure it doesn't hit any soft bodies. Okay, this is definitely more heavily trafficked. Let's see how it does. The car to the left, that's trying to come in here. It's gonna let the car go. Yep, it let the car go. And now it's turning left. Nice and smooth so far. Got pretty close to that red car, but all in a day's work, did pretty good. I hope Legendary appreciates this voiceover I gave, this nerve-wracking voiceover. Pretty good. 
Yeah. So, did it pass the fiance test? What are your first impressions of actually Smart Summon? It was actually pretty good. I was terrified. But it did way better than I thought because if you have a Tesla, you know that sometimes it glitches the hell out when it's doing its full self-driving. So I was kind of scared that it will do that. And now there's no one there to actually stop it from doing anything. And I'm in the back seat filming it. <laughs> and if anyone sees me, they're going to be like, you're so irresponsible. Why would you do this? So I'm happy that it went very smoothly. It was very cautious of people and cars. Yeah, it did a good job. No complaints. Did it encounter people at all? Because from the camera, it didn't really look like many people were in the way. The last one, it encountered one person, the fourth time around and it waited and it shifted to the right more and more just to get away from the person there was another woman that was crossing before he turned left and it waited for her as well it was really good that's good what i noticed about it was that just from watching it if there was a car coming through the intersection the tesla didn't stop but it slowed down to a point where it was totally safe yeah but it made its intentions very clear that it was going to go yeah and it kind of knew how to read the situation like a human would to make like the most natural type of movement that it could yeah so before you summon the car there was a jeep that was trying to back up and it was taking forever to back up it just wasn't it just, they just had their reverse light on for so long that they didn't back up and then finally as you started summoning it it started they started backing up and i was scared that because they were still backing up in the straight line the tesla wouldn't recognize movement yet mm -hmm. because it wasn't turning or anything so i was scared that it was gonna go but then it didn't so i was happy and i was scared that it was also gonna move forward and then stop and then confuse the jeep yeah so i'm happy it didn't move at all would you so. say it's actually smart it's ass yes <laughs> <laughs> One trick that I thought of is that you have to be careful about which side you want the car to approach you from at the front of the grocery store because if it turns right and it's on the far side of the road you're gonna have to cross the street to get to your car so we're parking strategically so that when we come out of the store the car can pick us up and it will be on the same side as the entrance of the store as opposed to the other side of the road we just had actually smart summon fail to pick us up because it said the cameras were blocked when I was looking at the live camera in the app all four of them looked pretty clear to me so I don't know why it was blocked but this is a huge problem because one of the biggest reasons you would use actually Smart Summon is because it's raining outside where the weather is not good. So now if it can't perform that action because it's raining and the cameras are blocked, there goes half of the reason why we're using Smart Summon in the first place. Four to five times it did work in the rain, so I don't know if it was just that one time there was a bit of a glitch or what's going on. So that was our first test of my car's ass. Actually, Smart Summon was pretty cool. It worked extremely well, except for that one instance. I'm sure it will get better over time too, but right now it's actually already at a point, especially if it's a clear day, where you can use it in a practical situation. Kudos to the Tesla team. Fantastic job on this. That concludes this video. If you liked watching Violet risk her life in the car, hit the like button if you really liked the video subscribe if you want to see more tech videos click here if you want to see more tesla videos click here and until next time stay legendary peace